Hello everyone. My name is Tiffany. I'm the Tipsy Artist. Today we are painting this adorable Santa gnome. So gnomes are really trending this year. It is 2022. So I'm not sure <laughs> right now we're, you're watching it 2022, but who knows when you'll watch it. And so just to be clear, yes, that is when they are trending. Hopefully it will trend strong into 2023 as well. Uh, but we have lots of gnomes that we're featuring for the Christmas season, and this one has been a big seller. So we're doing this as a painting kit as well. So I wanted to give you a fun little glimpse of it in this stage. So I usually always create in watercolor first, and then I transition to an acrylic painting next for our in-studio classes and then for our um, painting kits. So without further ado, we'll get started with the painting process. I will put this down. We're going to switch camera views now and we'll get, we're going to give you a really nice aerial view. So here we go. All right, beautiful. So I'm all set up here. Let's go over our supplies. You want to make sure you've got your water nearby, paint plate, napkins for drying. And then of course your kit comes with all the supplies that are needed. The only thing that doesn't come to you, of course, is the water. Uh, but everything else that you see is with your kit. So we have a full set of paints. I always use old paint, um, but because uh, I'm always trying to, you know, use up what I have. <laughs> so, uh, and then speaking of paint, I usually do a little bit of extra, a lot more white and black. So I'm going to do a little bit more of that here. I use a lot in volume, so. Oh, it's hard to get out of that pump. Oh yeah, and then I'm gonna do some black in volume too. Because I have a lot of painting to do today, so alright. Alright, but for y'all. Let's focus. That's uh, more of a focus to me, <laughs> to y'all. Okay, but for y'all, y'all are gonna have the paint kit. So we're gonna have titanium white here in the kit and then also some Mars black. So I wanna be sure and get that out first. And in terms of size, what you'll do is about a nice quarter size dollop of that on your mixing plate here. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this line art here. So we do always provide you with a beautiful traceable with your kit. And we have transfer paper. We have another tutorial that shows that whole process. But it basically places everything that you see here um, on your canvas, just like this. Okay, so you can either leave it just like that, or you can use the permanent marker that comes with the kit and do a hard line around this. I do recommend this on this painting. I think it's very helpful and it does make it very easy for beginners because what this does is it keeps your trace in place even if you're a little bit loose with the painting process. So if you have a little bit of an overpaint that occurs, you can do so without too much concern and without losing all of this line art that you've got. So I'm going to go ahead and just go over basically every single line that you've got here. So very simple. So we're just going over that cute little tree. A little arm that comes across. And then cute little feet. This little shape here is really just that reflective light. So we'll have paint around that. Just a little reference. Not even really that necessary to trace around, but for the purpose of teaching, I'm going to leave that intact. 
It's a nice visual. A little smile. Very nice. We have our holly leaves and our holly berries up here. We'll have this line come more around the outside of the leaf so that it preserves as much space on the inside. It doesn't close it off. And straight line right through the middle, a little diagonal. Again, that's really optional. You're probably just going to paint right over that and obscure it. But again, gives a nice visual right at the front. Looks super cute. All right, so we are going to go ahead and start our painting process. We're going to start with, actually, let me talk about all the brushes here. So our little family of brushes, that's what we have here. We've got Mama, and then we have Little Buddy, and then we have Little Bit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start with the mama brush and we're going to start with that titanium white and then also the mars black okay, so i'm going to go ahead and pick up nice big dollop of the white and then just a little touch of the black so it's kind of dipped into the black we're going to mix those two together this is going to create that light gray that's in the background and you can make it, I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start to push this into my background. Let me go ahead and push this water back just a little bit. It's creating a shadow. So our stroke to begin with will look like the letter X back and forth. Helpful tips on this is you wanna hold that brush more over to the side, parallel to the canvas. Beginners have a tendency to do this, and that handle's always coming towards their body and it's always digging right into the paint and scraping it off just about as soon as they put it back on. So again, you wanna get used to more of the side hold for a lot of the uh, background work. Again, see where that handle is? Not coming towards your body at all. Not like this, like this. Gives you a light hand. It does feel a little bit awkward at first, you get used to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and push into a little bit of some pure white. Push that back and forth. Back and forth. Now when we do the cut-in work, we're going to go ahead and hold the brush. Now it's time to hold it more like a pencil. So it utilizes that line edge on the end of the brush. Makes a thin line. And we're going to go ahead and come all the way around that shape of the hat. And then as we pull out into the background, we're going to switch it back over to the side hold. Just cross back and forth. Now I'm going to use this larger brush just as much as I can. But you can see how it gets pretty tight in here. I may have to switch over to my little bit or a little buddy, or you may have to. I was able to maneuver into that small space, but you have to switch over to a small brush if that makes you nervous. Absolutely do that. But when you're working back into this large area, make sure and switch back to the larger brush. This makes it a lot easier. Okay, this 
Sim, sim. Yeah, you can kind of see how having that line work with the permanent marker really helps here. Because I don't have to be too precise as I work into the background. And that's really a comfort. It allows a lot more of this beginning process to be a lot more therapeutic. So you can just relax with the process and you don't have to worry about being too intense and having to do too much precise cutting work right at the beginning. It's just very um, relaxed in that way. Okay. So we have all of our background done, done now, so that's super cute. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of squeegee out the rest of that gray. We're gonna rinse out. Now a little word about acrylic paint is that it does set up and dry rather quickly. Sometimes it can dry in about five minutes. So you always want to wash your brushes out immediately. And if you ever wonder if you can get to them, here's one word of caution. Always at least leave them sitting in the water. Don't ever just let them sit out on your napkin with paint on them, or they can dry up and completely ruin hard mat on you. All right, so we've had an opportunity to wash out Mama, so she's good. I'm just gonna rest there for a moment. I'm gonna come in now with, let's see here. I'm gonna do the, since we've got the gray, I'm going to work in a little bit more of that gray with my little buddy brush. So again, we're still using the titanium white and the Mars black. And I'll add a little bit more, just a touch more of the black to that gray mix. Because I definitely want it to have a little bit more of a contrast. And that little smile kind of peeks through the paint, which is awesome. So you don't lose your line work in the beginning on that. I'm just going to paint right around that cute little nose. Right, now I'm going to go ahead and Working a little bit of like hair texture. So I'm going to pull down from the nose like this. And a little bit of white to kind of right over the top. Maybe that creates some of that fun bearded texture there. So it's nice. All right, let's go ahead and rinse out. Dry off. And we're going to go ahead and go into some pure white, and we're going to get this little ball of white here, this pure white paint. All right, very cute. Okay, and then also, Let's hang a little bit of white in here in the little band of the hat. Still using my little buddy brush. And don't worry about the line work. We're going to come back in and touch all that up. So right now we're just getting in solid color into those basic shapes. Print that. All right, 
Let's do some green next, okay? So we're gonna grab some of our cadmium green. Do a nice big, healthy, like quarter size dollop of that. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and use our mono brush again. And we're gonna darken this green up just a teeny amount. So I'm gonna just touch into a little bit of the black. See, just the tack, and we're gonna push that into the green. And then I'm gonna use the line edge of the brush. Go ahead and work into this Christmas tree. Again, this is a little touch of black with our cadmium green. And we're gonna basically start from the center and just kind of pull down in a diagonal. So pull down and then just out just slightly, following the shape of the tree and then lift off with a light hand. So just creating that little bit of texture. And sometimes it'll take a second coat, a little bit more thickness to it. Very nice. All right, super cute. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out now. And we're gonna go ahead and utilize that same green that we have, but we're gonna Pick up our little bit brush, put a little twirl here into that little bit of blackened green, we'll twirl it out. We're going to go ahead and work into the little holly leaves here.
that cute little holly leaf. Just go ahead and rinse that down. Let's do some red now. Okay, so we've got some cadmium red. The nickel sized dollop of that, and then also some primary magenta. That'll help cool off this red a little bit, so I'll do another nickel sized dollop of that. Let's take our little buddy brush and we're going to mix those two together. Work that into the little mittens and then also the heart. So initially, you can do more of a regular, like almost like a traditional pencil hold, but then you want to smooth it out and feather out those brush strokes. You want to hold that brush hand a little bit more over to the side again, then set parallel to the canvas hold. And I'm going to dip into a little bit of this small area with my little bit brush. And I'm probably going to go back over that with the green one more time just to make sure that it's looking like it's in the foreground. It's out a little bit. Grab a little bit more of that black and clean and let's touch that up a little bit. A little bit more natural. Mm -hmm. All right, rinse out. Let's go back in with our full red that we made with our cadmium red and our primary magenta mix. Two equal portions of those two colors. That's more of a cool red. Feathering out that stroke, achieving more of like an opaque finish over the top. Light hand brush is more over to the side. Now let's work into the hat. Initially we can hold it more like a pencil to do that line work. Thin line. This gives you a little bit more control. But then we work into the center and I crisscross it out and flat side of the brush faces the canvas. A teeny tiny area here, so I'm going to use my little bit brush. Do that small detail work in and around the holly. I'm just going to tag those little berries while I'm here. Little push and twist for that circular area. Let's get all these little small areas here. Twist it out, then we get in the water for a second. We're back to little buddy. Start to feather out those little brush strokes. And side hold, more over to the side.
go ahead and rinse that. Now we're going to mix up some of that pink for the nose. A little bit brush and some white. We'll mix with that red that we have. I want this to be a really light, light, light pink. So I'm going to add even more white to that. Very, very light. A little bit brush. We're going to go ahead and work that into that cute little nose shape here. Super cute, let's go ahead and rinse out. And let's grab just a touch of pure white. And do just a little highlight here right on top. I'm just gonna kind of echo that shape right on top for a little highlight there. Super cute. Right now it's time for some black details. So let's grab little buddy and do our little shoes here. So these are here as a reminder that reference of life that we'll do. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paint over it because I'm gonna come back in with white paint. I'll do that here in a moment. You're welcome to leave it intact though, if you like. Cute little shoes. Rinse out. Go. All right now, a little bit, and I am gonna come back and get so we've got a little touch of white. Okay, and it does have a little soft blend into the black, and that's actually a desired effect. So again, the squish just like that. Perfect. You know it. Alright, so now let's go ahead and use a little bit again and then touch into our black. We're gonna work on some of our little Outlines here. Kind of emphasize that side of the tree. I pull down back of the right hand. I'm going to rinse out just a little bit because we picked up a lot of green on that. So I'm going to rinse out, dry off. Still going into the black though, and I also want to make sure that all of the brush is dry and doesn't have residual water dripping off, or else it can make almost what looks like a big mascara run on your painting. We don't want that. Go back into that black. And very light hand, hold like a pencil, very delicate hand, and feel like you are barely touching the canvas. We want to make a really tiny little line here. And if you press down with too much pressure, it's going to make your brush apply a lot of pressure and make your line very full and thick. So again, you want to act like you just barely touch the canvas. Barely touch.
pen, a little bit of outline in here. This kind of helps make all these little shapes kind of pop out. crease in there and the cat and soft. Now I'm going to come back in with just pure white and come into the middle of this little ball here because I want to kind of soften that outline from the inside. One more time, I'm going to tag this section here right around the arm. And this little black outline kind of helps that arm pop right out in front again, too. getting to the point where we're going to do little bits of like string lights and snow. Let's turn our plate here. All right, the first thing I want to do is make like a little subtle string that will go across the tree. So I'm going to dip into my water here and then a little bit with the uh, white. And we're basically just going to start to go back and forth. Into the line there. Okay. Rinse out, dry off. And then let's take our largest brush. Mama, we're going to use the end of the handle now. We're going to dip into some of that titanium white. See how it's right there on the end of the brush. And then we are going to make the little balls of light. They'll be on the string. So keep dipping into the white. And then press and give it a little twist here. So the next step now will be little bits of snow all over the background and so this is a really fun technique. So we're going to take our little buddy here and we're going to go ahead and do a nice little dollop of white on there and then we're going to dip right into the water. It's got a heavy amount of water that's on the brush here and then we're just going to basically flick it onto our canvas. Just looks like it's still in there. You're about to really see it on top of the tree. See? And if it's not flicking very well, just grab a little bit more water. That's usually what you need. Not even as much of the paint, but just a lot more water. See, I didn't even add more paint, I just added more water. And it's really starting to starting to really snow. It's coming down out there. Oh, it's 
super precious. Especially if you're doing, with, doing this with kids, they love this part. It's very fun. Yay! Okay. Now, uh, one other fun technique you can do, I wanted to let my white kind of set up and dry a lot more, but you can make some decorative snowflakes. So, so here's the thing, I definitely am showing them on the hat here. Um, my red is still a little bit tacky and wet, so if I try to put the snowflake on too soon, it can look pink. So we don't want that. So for um, tutorial purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and just give you an example of the snowflake and you're welcome to do it, but make sure your red is completely set up and dry. And then as soon as it is, you can do this. For uh, purposes here, I'm gonna go ahead and place it um, in the gray area so you can still see it and see how it's done. So I'm taking my little bit brush here. It's very simple. So I'm going to just make a little line like that. And then another horizontal line. It looks like a plus sign at first. And then we're going to do a diagonal line through that and another diagonal line through that. And then that is literally how easy our little snowflakes are. And then there's one more little, you can leave them just like that, very simple. Or you can do a real delicate little circle even through that too. But oftentimes I just like to do to me, they're more powerful and impactful in acrylic paint with just a little cross. And then the diagonal screen too. So you can just kind of sprinkle these through. Again, start with your plus sign and then little diagonals that run through. So, and just kind of, you know, place those all around. And you can leave it simple like this too. And maybe not put them on the hat. That's optional. Or you can put some on the hat and a little mitten. So it is just very subtle, and you can just kind of sprinkle those all around. And of course, if you have a turquoise sky or a blue sky, it's even more impactful. It's very subtle on the gray, but it becomes very, very impactful with the light, uh, with the darker contrasting colors. And this is a little more subtle. All right, just lots of fun little options there. All right, one other little flash of that I love to do is with my little bit brush, I'm going to go ahead and dip into a little bit of white. And we're going to make little flash points of white on our berries. So dip into the white and then just barely touch down here. That's also a fun little trick. All right, so I think we are done. All that we have to do now is sign our masterpiece. So this is completely dry. I think it's much easier to actually use the permanent marker. There it is. And we are done with our super cute Santa gnomes. I'm so proud of y'all. Great job. Love painting with y'all. Thank you so much for being with me today. And again, all the supplies that you need are on our website. We do have the full painting kits, tipsyartist.com. We also have just digital traceables as well that are a lot more affordable if you have all of your own supplies. And if you don't see your desired design posted easily where you can find it, just send us an email, info at tipsyartist.com, and we'll be sure to load that up and send you the custom link just for that design. So thank you so, so much. Y'all have a beautiful rest of the day, and we'll see you again real soon. Love y'all. Toodles.